Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday, 07 March. Check out this crude. It's still big. Had a bit of a down down move yesterday, down to 78.22, but here we are back at 80. Um, these are kind of important highs here, 80, 78. We don't have uh, any position on in crude, but just using it as sort of a bellwether for some currency trades. Um, in particular, looks like Euro Norway. Needs to go left today. Um, and dollar CAD, which has been super low vol, may also need to go left. Let's take a look at the Norway chart. 11.11.99 Interesting highs here up at 11.16 Yesterday we got up to 11.14.50 Trading around 11.12 now um, This looks like uh, left hand side today With oil so bid um, And stocks holding in there seems a bit mispriced here uh, just want to bring that to everybody's attention rates didn't really do much yesterday down to 90 back to 95 um, waiting for Powell right today 4 p.m. Powell that's a big moment he'll be testifying uh, in front of Congress um, he'll be hawkish but he'll be a fake hawkish so we're going to start calling it Pigeon. He's going to be Pigeon today. That's our guess. Um, of course, the only thing that really matters is where this rate goes, right? I do think um, the market is short. I don't. I know the market is short. The data says the market's short, so people are short tens. Um and if he's not hawkish enough, tens will go higher, uh, rates will go lower. Uh, so be careful of that. And then, of course, currencies will do their thing. Uh, RBA last night, they did raise rates. Uh, rates are at 360. I haven't seen the statement yet, but you can see here that uh, nobody really cares 67 40 down to 90 back to 15 I guess he wasn't as hawkish as people would have liked but not much movement here uh, we talked about this retails long Aussie I don't know why they're long uh, it's gonna have a hard time going higher not surprised it went left but no dog in that fight here's CAD super low vol um, you could probably guess a lot of people are going to be drawing this line. And then, same thing here. Let's see how this one gets resolved, right? It's kind of a wonky, wonky pennant. Um, Ideally, you'd want to fade it up here on 136.34. This trend line, the, the, the supporting trend line only has two touches, so it's not really, not really amazingly beautiful. But you can see volatility is contracting. This thing has to make a decision. We think the decision is going to be left. Euro. Uh, up to 93 yesterday we talked about just mildly higher euro we didn't really stick with that trade yesterday um, we grabbed a couple of pips but we were a little bit impatient at the open this is just gonna go with Powell right um, what probably is gonna happen it goes left first and then people are gonna realize he's not as hawkish as he thinks and then goes back higher Dollar yen, same. Dollar yen just doing nothing, waiting. Are we going to see 136.50? Uh, 
on some hawkish commentary from him and then back down lower when people realize it's not that hawkish. That's what we think is going to happen. Dollar China's bid, I don't know, like maybe there's just people are like worried about this news. You know, political news with China and some little little slap fights um, with some of the West, some of their Western counterparties. I don't know. I've had no luck trading dollar China this year. Um, so I'm not going to dive into this now. Looks a little too high to me, but I'm staying away from that fucker. Uh, gold, just dicking around, right? Up to 60, which was natural resistance. Down to 43, which is just a meaningless point. Um, nothing to do with gold. Again, you wait for Powell. You're going to see a theme here. Wait, wait, wait. Dollar Swiss went left yesterday. Euro Swiss also went left, which was annoying. This was the uh, inflation numbers down to 27, back to 65, down to 30. Um, we do think this is going to eventually go right. Don't have a huge... Uh, huge dog for this fight, but um, I don't know, maybe pick some of this up. Looks like it still wants to go left today, maybe pick some of this up uh, down around 08. And of course, if you're long Euro Swiss and short Euro Norway, um, you're short Swiss Norway. So you might want to have a look at that chart as well. I won't pull that up, but uh, that could be your your goal end of end of day position today, Swiss Norway. That sounds fun. Euro sterling, not much to do. Uh, all these crosses aren't doing anything. Dollars are. Uh, did not go lower yesterday. If we get a super dovish today, this could go a lot lower. 1808 now is is kind of interesting, right? One, two, three, sort of four lows down there. We are not short this thing. Um, as most of you know, we don't like to buy uh, czar over our careers our careers when, when our careers started this thing was three now it's at 18 people always go oh you're a little bit mean with um, South Africa it's not like I'm mean I'm just like here's the here's the chart from 1972 25 cents to 18 bucks. You can see why it doesn't really pay to be long czar uh, over time. Uh, I don't care what the carry is. It's just one cock up after another. One snafu. Um, reminds me a little bit of Turkey, right? Like, beautiful piece of land, beautiful people, beautiful culture. But the leadership there just <laughs> sucks the duck. What are you going to do? Uh, again, Don't want to belabor that, uh, but if you do like to buy Czar, and we do get a dovish day today, 18.08 is is an interesting point. Uh, did you get given any Matic at 1? Um, no, because it didn't trade down there. But we are fishing for uh, Matic down here uh, at 101, 102, 102. Ethereum, same thing. Between 1400 and 1500, we'll be buying some of these what we call infrastructure crypto crypto coins right so this isn't bitcoin bitcoin is a speculative instrument i don't i don't love or hate bitcoin it's just a fun little speculative instrument but ethereum and matic and solana and phantom and avex and near dydx uh, dydx is an exchange um, avex these are all infrastructure blocks where smart contracts are built on those chains. So you consider them like useful bricks in what I think is the future of the financial economy. This, these will be the pipes, uh, if, if you'll allow that metaphor, for the future of finance. Anyway, we're scooping some of that shit up uh, if, it, if it goes lower. I've said enough. Euro Norway looks like the horse this morning. Otherwise, we wait for Powell, 4 p.m. CET. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.